Welcome to Kenya's number one podcast show and the first grand podcast show. My name is Fatia Mkwa, the host, and she's one of these best people that I met on the season and I want to introduce her. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Isabella. It's the Outcast Sheila's podcast. My name is Fatia Mkwa. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm Thank doing you. very fine. So people, uh-huh. people may want to know who is Isabella. Can you tell us? Hi, Isabella is an actress. She's a model. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's a good friend of mine by the way and today she'll be part of the Outcast Sheila's podcast through a phone call and it will all be about question and answers. And so okay. that this person who texted me and told me uh-huh. anytime her girlfriend w- wants to go for let's say a two day or three day sleep outside she makes sure that she has angered the person and they're not in good terms they're not talking and when the girlfriend comes back after the uh, holiday or after the two day break she's very romantic to the person and so this person is wondering if they, that is a problem or she's just uh, in her normal character like is she cheating or because anytime she wants to go out uh-huh. she makes sure that they're not in good terms and she cannot receive the phone call or even uh-huh. text back because when she texts back this this short replies so what's your view uh? um i think uh, maybe the girl goes because Whatever she goes to do, it's something that the, the, the guy... Yeah? Yeah, so I think that's what makes the lady to travel. But I mean, it, uh-huh. I mean, it's very awkward. How can just someone, anytime she wants to leave, she acts this uh, rude, she wants us not to be in the same communication line, like, she doesn't want me to, comu- to communicate to her. Let me, okay, let me put it in of the castle. Yeah. Maybe I'm broke. Yeah. And I have a Yeah. And he wants to take a to the vacation. Yeah. So I need money. Yeah. And I know my guy won't allow me to go. And all? And I know the guy won't allow me to go. Yeah. So the only way to go in an argument to make But you can just decide and tell the guy person. I mean I've j- I've seen like you are not capable of my lifestyle and I want to leave you then go in and come in back go in and come in back that's awkward maybe you have you know maybe the guy doesn't have money at the moment but in future yeah and you very well know that you have to share hmm. and the only thing from that from the old man is money that's yeah all. yeah so that's why so you you want to tell me Mm-hmm. A lady can go for an old man because of money to come back and spoil her boyfriend. Yeah, sure. That's Thank awkward. You. <laughs> 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 you. I mean, like you can think you are taking care of the man, while in real sense you are putting the young man in, in a very difficult situation. What about you give him? I hear some days people say leprosy. Yeah. You know, think you just have to be careful. You <laughs> just have to be smart. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, I wanted to ask another question. Okay. So, do you believe that a young man dating an old lady or a, a lady more than his age is a problem? Or it's just like you see the society has put it in a way that a lady can get married to an old man but yeah. a young man yeah uh, i don't think it's a problem that yeah. where the problem comes in yeah is you know we we ladies tend to grow older faster than men yeah so unless the person you're getting married to is so maybe unless you have so much money you have yeah. good money yeah so that you can maintain yourself and always look younger than the guy that's okay but come on a guess, huh? my friend <laughs> <laughs> and so let me ask you this 
so what motivates like people dating people of higher age than them uh, maybe for maturity yeah maturity money uh understanding or not some of the things so you want to say that most of the young people cannot offer maturity cannot offer uh, like these people these things that all people can offer uh come again so i was asking you uh-huh. you have said maturity understanding do you believe that the young the young generation cannot offer things such as maturity understanding yeah but uh, for the young generation, yeah. you know, we are yet to experience yeah. all those things. But if you meet someone older, I should yeah. hear all those things. And they already know what they want. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I mean, today I'm finding it's quite odd that most of the young people don't want these uh, their fellow young people. They want to, they don't want to build uh, from scratch, yeah? They believe that the scratch thing is just a waste of time. They want something yeah, that is very ready. Too. You mean th- me that that too. Yeah? Yeah, me too. You <laughs> You <Yeah>. want <laughs> You believe that building from scratch is a waste of time? I think it's a waste of time. Yeah. And uh, not to every person, but you don't want to change after after they get money. Yeah. So let me just find you that they you are with everything. Yeah. And I know that the person I'm, I've met right that time will never change that to it. And then from the scratch happen, what a good friend in such changing and what but I, I think it's all about hard work you can you don't want to give the success story of i stood with him all the time and now we have made it no i don't let's let the one of us struggle as yeah. well handed this yeah then when we make it then when you make it the rest will follow <laughs> thank you so much and you're so there this is another question that i want to ask you yeah, you know the guy Kibe. Yeah. And his controversial stories. Yeah. So, what's your view about them? The way he diminishes the women like such kind of thing. You know, sometimes he makes sense. Yeah. Some of the things that he says, he makes sense. Most of the things the new year who say when he's not pointing on mm. on someone or a specific person. Yeah. Most of them make sense. Yeah. Now when it comes to get, getting personal with yeah. people's information, yeah. but I feel sometimes like he attacks the ladies to an extent that you see it, it's a way of diminishing someone, like saying that, I don't know, someone is kind of a slur, you know? You know, I don't know what, I think he's bitter about something yeah. he, that she doesn't tell people, so maybe she tries uh, yeah. Getting, you know that bitterness. Yeah, co- he consults himself. Yeah. So I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah. Ah, that's what I'm going to there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or oh, maybe. Yeah. He can't. He can't do that to other men. Yeah, if he is men, definitely. You know, a bro is a bro. The bro code is always topmost to everything. Or yeah. do you believe also that is uh, some stupid mentality? You know, I don't th- think there's something s- like that. Because the, this thing that says, uh-huh. if a bro sees a bro cheating, uh-huh. does not cheating. He saw nothing. So do you believe that that is that that is the uh, correct order or what? It's not. Yeah. And why would you have friends who are cheating? First of all, no. I, I, it's one of them. Yeah. Don't get about it so good. Hmm. Huh? With someone's growing up to have some things that yeah. Those things, you know that. Yeah, I understand. Like, but you know, there's some things like protecting someone. It's not the person. Just <laughs> tell him what he's supposed to do. <laughs> 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 
thank you so much for taking part in our podcast. Okay, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Okay. And so people may ask, how can they find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Jinjoki and of course Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks for your time. Bye.